Hello everybody, welcome to another Poverty Hill Adventures video. In today's video we're going to uh, look at some old archery tackle, uh, specifically arrows. Uh, this particular arrow here is a cedar shaft arrow, probably from the 1960s. The craftsmanship on it is absolutely outstanding. It's uh, stamped Royal Arrows. It's a cedar shaft arrow, has a, a plastic knock on it, wild turkey feathers, uh, which are, have been dyed green. And the cresting uh, is very nice cresting. Uh, when you pick this arrow up, uh, you realize that it is a, a finely crafted arrow. It's a, a real nice arrow, a survivor from back in... Uh, Oh, oh, probably 60, 60 years or so ago, maybe 55, 60 years ago. It's a survivor. But what I really want to show everybody today are some, some arrows that date back even further than that, probably over 100 years, possibly even more, possibly back to the Victorian era, the end of the Victorian era. Uh, and let's take a look at those. I do not know the exact history of these arrows, but they are most definitely old. Um, and I'm going to start with the center one here first. It is a self-knock arrow, meaning that the knock is cut right into the arrow shaft. Uh, you've seen that in some of my primitive archery hunts. Um, the feathers are wild turkey feathers, but they're very short. They're probably only about maybe an inch and a half. Um, this particular shaft has got some very uh, basic cresting on it, um, red and green. I think it's a cedar shaft. It's in pretty rough shape, and the point, I'm pretty sure, is a copper point. Uh, so it's, it's kind of an interesting uh, arrow. Um, it doesn't have any markings on it other than uh, the cresting. So I don't know uh, if this was a store-bought arrow or a handmade arrow. My guess is it was a store-bought arrow. The next two arrows I want to show everybody are really special. These... Uh, are stamped made in England and uh, let's take a look at the, the one that's in better shape it has a reinforced uh, self knock um, hopefully you can see it in the video uh, here a reinforced self knock it looks like these were fletched in shield cut uh, feathers uh, probably just about two inches long. The cresting is uh, pretty simple. It's uh, blue and a silver with some thin black lines. Uh, and uh, I'm guessing these arrows are at least a hundred years old, possibly older. The, uh, the tip on this appears to me to be Damascus steel. Uh, it's, uh, <laughs> I looked at it several times and at least to my, my eye, it appears to be Damascus steel. Um, I'm believing that it's a cedar shaft. Here's the matching arrow. You can see this one is missing the reinforcement on the self-knock, but it illustrates how that um, reinforced self-knock was, was uh, put right into the shaft. The next two arrows uh, are also self-knock uh, 
arrows reinforced. Hopefully you can see this, but they're reinforced uh, with a with a uh, oh little sliver of wood in there. Uh, red, black, and silver cresting. The cresting is uh, a little cruder than the others. It looks to me like it had about uh, maybe uh, two inch uh, feathers on it. Um, it does ha not have any other uh, markings on it. The tip, um, to the best of my knowledge, appears to be some sort of steel. It's... Um, Heavily tarnished, so I I don't want to clean it up. I don't want to I don't want to ruin the uh, patina on these, um, but I believe it's steel. When I was uh, trying to do some research to date these arrows uh, exactly. Um, unfortunately, I didn't find any specifics, uh, but I did find out quite a bit about Victorian era archery, uh, and um, it was quite popular. And uh, I, from what I could read, the uh, Queen over in England um, was a big uh, archery fan and participated in uh, archery and. It was one of the few sports uh, in that time period that women could participate in uh, that was deemed proper for a, uh, a woman to participate in. Got some old paintings of uh, women all dressed in their, their fanciest dresses and uh, all that that came from that era uh, out on the range shooting their bows and arrows. Uh, I... Uh, just thought this would be interesting for some of you to see. If anybody knows more about these arrows uh, and can date them to a, a closer time period than what I'm uh, estimating them to be from, it would be very much appreciated. And if you could leave it in the comments, I would appreciate it. Till next time, everybody, take care and thanks for watching.